What do we have here? This is a 65 Dodge Coronet station wagon with a Hemi and it's been built as a E990 station wagon. E990 station wagon? Right. The E990 package was the super stock race car package with a two door sedan body. And I've done it similar to that with a station wagon for the street. Oh, okay. Well, let us have ourselves a look at this. Oh, made that look easy. <laughs> it's got the super stock bucket seats, radio and heater delete, roll cage for chassis stiffness, full manual automatic transmission which means you have to shift it from gear to gear and no rear seat basically like a super stocker but a station wagon for the street so where does the idea come from to build something like this well i've always loved the factory race cars but i want them streetable because when you build it as a race car you only can use it a few times a summer this thing I can drive on the street. It's got lights, wipers, exhaust system, everything that needs to be legal in New York, and it's streetable. And it's a lot of fun. <laughs> it has 65 Dodge red paint on it. It's got an all steel body with a fiberglass penny hood scoop, which is part of the A990 package. Okay. The inboard headlights, the high beams, have been deleted like the factory A990s to the single headlight grill it's called. And the heart of the kid is another 426 crate hemi. Oh yeah. I used the single four barrel with a 750 Holly versus the factory two four barrel cross ram because this is much more streetable and actually a lot better setup for low RPM, off idle to 3,000 RPM on the street. The two four barrel cross rams are great for race situations, but they are very soggy on the street. They're very logy and they just don't run good at lower RPM. I wanted this to have good street manners, so I went with a single four barrel. I put an aluminum radiator in it recently to help it run cool, which it does beautifully on the street. The roll bar that you saw in the interior it gives it a lot of chassis stiffness, which not only makes it handle better, but it also helps the body not twist and deteriorate from torsional stress. Which goes functional, and basically it's a my 65 Dodge race hemi station. <laughs> a lot of fun to drive. So this is an automatic car as well? Automatic, but it's a full manual automatic. been mini topped to allow the bigger tires and it's got a Dana Ran. I'm gonna drop down on the ground and have a look underneath this thing. It has a fuel cell, um, full exhaust, three inch exhaust, TTI headers which are absolutely fabulous as far as fit and finish and basically it's what a super stock station wagon would look like if the factory built one. So does this get out much? I drive it a fair amount. I show it a lot, but it, it does get driven. It's incredibly clean. It looks like it's never been anywhere. Yeah, it's been in quite a few magazines and it's a really fun wagon to use. The beauty of a station wagon for car show duty is you can put your tent, your chairs, your cooler, your parts, everything you need in the back, especially with the rear seat gone. It's basically like a minivan, only with a Hemi. Now, do you drive this to most of the shows, or do you trailer it? Long distance, I trailer it and drive it when I get there. Locally, I drive it. It's very serviceable, very roadable. It's a very docile car until you put your foot in it. It's a lot of fun when you do, but you want to have some space. <laughs> it's a good old piece.
So this is a second crate Hemi that we've seen. Is the Hemi engine the engine of your choice? Yes. This is what's known as the Gen 2 Hemis. The Gen 1 Hemis were the ones in the 50s that were in the DeSotos and big Chryslers. And they had the distributor in the back. It's a completely different motor. They don't share any parts with the Gen 2 Hemis like this one. The Gen 3 Hemis like are available in the Challengers and Chargers and the new pickup trucks are the next step. And they don't share any parts with these engines. So they're completely different families of engines. So this format is basically like the the 65 to 71 Hemis that they had yep. on the street? Yep, very much so. And uh, it's a real good serviceable and streetable engine because it has a hydraulic cam and a single four barrel. And it's a lot of fun and it's very easy to maintain. So what kind of horsepower are we talking about? They these? rate them at 465, but I think it's only at like 4,800 RPM. Oh. So it, it scoots right along. It's a good, fun engine, but it's still durable on the street, and you don't have to fight with it constantly. It's a really good street engine, and it's got all the good points of a Hemi. And the only thing it, they quite like is fuel and spark plugs. But other than that, it's a good, good old car to jump in and go to a show or a cruise night and drive and have fun with. Oh, I see you even preserved the pedals. What are those, socks? Yeah. Because these, the pedals on these are the kind, they have the little raised bumps for foot traction. Mm -hmm. And they can fill the dirt and, and mud and whatever on the show field. So I put socks around it. If I have to show it, I take the socks off and they're clean. Ah, okay. Plus it gives it a little more traction on my feet if the ground is wet. transmission.
here. Kind of over the edge for the street. Uh, if I was going to do it over again today, versus 15 years ago when I built this, I would probably put four tens in it, or maybe three seventy threes. This isn't a car you'd want to drive on the interstate, but for local having fun, put your foot in it once in a while. The gears are tolerable. So this build is 15 years old? Yes. It looks amazing. Thank you. I'll show you what the gears do here in just a second. Okay. isn't bad. Drag racing, but my first love is to drive them on the street. 
anytime I want in the summer versus limited amount of racing events. And also to relive it on a beautiful day like today. It's fun. It's fun is the, the key. And this one puts a lot of smiles on my face. <laughs> this is a hot rod. Yes it is. They never built Hemi station wagons, but they really should have. <laughs> so I thought I'll do what they didn't do. And I'm so glad I did, because it's a lot of fun. Pretty clever for an old family station wagon. Not bad. Gets groceries just fine. 